Hi there, my name is Chris Holden. I'm a professor in the Honors College here at UNM, and in the fall I'm going to be teaching a class called The Legacy of Algebra. Now, now, hold on, hold on, I know what you're thinking. Is it really true? Is there a class that combines the two best things in the universe, mathematics and history, just like chocolate and peanut butter? You're right, and I'm teaching it and you're going to take it. This class is fantastic. There's so much about math that we don't usually learn in a, in a normal class that's so busy trying to get us to be able to memorize that formula and use that equation and all those other things. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at where these ideas come from and how they evolve through time. And it's, I feel at least, truly surprising how different the actual history of math is from what you might imagine would happen in a math class. Uh, it's never boring. It's never logical. It's always weird. And it takes us back a long time. The algebra that's in, say, maybe those word problems that you really hate turn out to be 4,000 years old and come from ancient Iraq. And something like negative numbers, which we take for granted, um, those essentially didn't exist for the kind of math that we're doing until maybe the 1500s. And for a long time, they were super controversial. It wasn't until maybe the end of the 1700s that most people, most mathematicians seemed to get on board with the idea of negative numbers. So there's stuff like that. Um, we will also spend some time doing the math. And don't worry, you don't have to be, you know, a, a total... Uh, math head to be able to get into this stuff. The class is available to anyone anywhere and we're also going to be reading and writing about math which is something new for probably almost all of us. Uh, so I hope you join me in the fall and regardless of where you end up, uh, welcome to New Mexico maybe, welcome to UNM, welcome to the Honors College. I'll see you out there.